Ariel here and today I'm going to be doing my hashtag Ask Ariel video. This is technically my March hashtag Ask Ariel. I asked you guys for questions in February and I never got around to filming that and then I said I was going to combine both of those videos and now it's the end of March. I aim to get this up in the middle of March but just school has been hectic. I'm on spring break right now so I'm still going to take questions from both of my posts both on Twitter and Instagram. Like I say every single month if you want a chance to be featured in my next hashtag Ask Ariel video, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My handle is right over here and you can be updated on all things Ariel. I'm going to start off with Twitter questions, so let's get started. Okay, so sorry if I butcher this, but Angeline Pazow asks, what is your perfect pizza? And honestly, it's pretty basic. I used to hate sausage on my pizza, but now I absolutely love it. So just plain pizza with sausage on top. Oh, so good. Jarena underscore OT asks, can you give advice about how to handle hate? Totally. I actually want to do a video all about this. I actually want to start doing my advice videos again. I used to do them all the time back when I called myself Courtney, which long story short, my name's Adiel. It's unique. And my parents at first didn't want me to say my real name. So that's why my old videos, I say Courtney. But yeah, I used to do advice videos all the time and I definitely want to start. So comment any topics down below so I can like add to my list. My favorite quote in the world is, have you ever seen a hater doing better than you and it is so true you just got to remember that the people who are negative and spread hate all the time that's their problem and not yours so you shouldn't take it personally at all and I promise you once you get past the hate and you're just positive and you feel good about yourself life is great so I will definitely do a video going more in depth um, on this in the future this is just kind of like what's on the top of my head and Elizabeth K411 asks what is your go-to highlight my go-to benefit watch up and max soft and gentle on top I recently did a foundation routine video and I show you guys how I highlight so yeah and I've been experimenting with a lot of highlighters recently so maybe things will switch up a little bit at Alyssa Ruby underscore YT asked do you regret any of the choices you have made regarding your YouTube channel honestly no but if I regret anything I mean it wasn't really my choice it was more of like a rule that I had. I do regret that I used to say my name was Courtney because it's just so confusing. I got so many comments a day like, I thought your name was Adiel. Wait, does she have a twin? And it, like, I understand people don't know why, but I just regret that personally because I feel like I have to delete a lot of those old videos. At underscore Aisha underscore B asks, would you rather lose all your memories or never be able to make any more? Ooh, that's a tough question. I think lose all my memories, actually, that's so hard because you have to like fresh start. Like I wouldn't want to live life not being able to make any new memories. So I guess I would have to say like lose all my old ones, even though that sucked too. Kimberly L. Juarez asks, do you plan on doing more meetups? Yes, totally. I definitely want to plan meetups in the future. I just think they're so much fun. I love meeting you guys at YouTube events and stuff like that. I had two meetups in Houston, Texas about two years ago, and it was just so much fun. And I'm planning on doing one in LA this summer, and that's so exciting. And I do live in New York, and I get a lot of questions to do a New York meetup and a New Jersey meetup, so I'll definitely try to keep those in mind for the future. And the last Twitter question I'm going to answer, just because I have a ton of Instagram comments combined February and March, is is from at baby mukes and she asked any tips for new drivers when driving alone okay so I remember my first time driving alone I was pretty nervous just because I was used to having my mom next to me or people in the car so it was pretty nerve-wracking I'm not a nervous driver and I would definitely advise you to sort of not be so nervous and not be so like hesitant all the time just focus and if you have your license I'm guessing that you're already skilled and you have practice so just take your time. It's it's gonna be a lot to get used to at first, but you know, just slow and steady and relax. Okay, moving on to Instagram. X that she doesn't even go here. Dot X as do you like any other coffee places besides Starbucks? Honestly, no. Like, I don't. I'm not really like a hot coffee drinker. Like, I won't just make coffee and drink it like that. Starbucks is pretty much my go-to. Ava Stamack asks, what is your favorite cereal? I'd have to say Frosted Flakes or Fruity Pebbles. Carla.400 asks, this is a weird question, but would you rather stick your hand in the toilet or put lemon juice in your eyes? I love you so much. I love you too. Definitely hand in the toilet because I feel like lemon juice 
Ow. Allie underscore Amarim asks, are you as excited for summer as I am? I think more girl. Mia X Crow asks, if you aren't able to listen to hip hop slash rap ever again, what other music genre would you listen to? Oh my god, R&B, and if I wasn't able to listen to that either, then probably just pop in like whatever's on the hit radio station. Anita 18 asks, do you like your hair straight or curled? Definitely straight. I don't really curl it too often, honestly. I can't even remember the last time I curled it. Fair Art Gold asks, have you ever considered cutting your hair short or getting bangs? Bangs? No. I don't feel like I can rock them. <laughs> and short? Yes. I actually love like Khloe Kardashian's lob. I don't know if I could rock it. Like I feel like like if I did have it, it'd have to be like textured and wavy all the time. But I don't know. I feel like I'd go for like right here, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe in the future, someday. Cindy underscore 12x asks, would you quit YouTube for a million dollars? No. Sorry. I just, no amount of money would ever make me quit YouTube, honestly. Rebecca.O'Leary asks, who is your favorite character on Grey's Anatomy and why? Christina. She's just so funny and like easygoing. I love her so much. Leah Harrigan asks, New York City or LA? LA. I, I have to give it to LA. I, I'm i not a New York girl even though I live here. I was I was born on the wrong side of the country. Okay, now I'm going to the post from March. Alisa.live as how did you learn to do makeup so well? Thank you. And my number one tip is just practice, practice, practice and watch a ton of tutorials. That's basically <laughs> the gist of it. Jessie Daniel asked to read this out loud. She said, Adiel, I've been watching you for a couple months now and you're honestly the most sweet, inspiring YouTuber. Your videos are always on point and you're so, so beautiful. So keep doing what you do best and never let the haters get to you because you're awesome. But my two questions are, where do you and your boyfriend want to travel in the future and what keeps you motivated? Thank you so much, beautiful. I love you. Mwah. Um, Where do me and Finn want to travel? Anywhere tropical anywhere really um I really want to take him to LA and what keeps me motivated honestly you guys and just that passion really like doing what I love is just motivation for me grace underscore underscore 2424 s to please read this in the video I love you so much and you inspire me so much I watch all your videos and I would die to meet you my question is if you were to, if you were to only wear one makeup product for the rest of your life what would it be and why p.s. I love you so much I love you thank you so much Mwah. one makeup product for the rest of my life that is so hard because it's like if you do concealer then your face is like just all bland and and you do mascara and then you have dark under eyes. Ooh. I think I'd just go with concealer. Just like a little one that doesn't make it like too bland. I don't know. Sun underscore B5 asks, have you ever had surgery? No, I have not. Utrea Smiler 5 asks, would you rather share a toothbrush for a week or not eat for a day? Um, I think not eat for a day. <laughs> Natalie McGregor underscore asks, if you got a $10,000 gift card to any store, what would the store be? Hmm, probably Urban Outfitters, because I always want to shop there, but it's so expensive. And the last question I'm going to answer is from Sophia K. Mindy, and she asks, what is your favorite Kylie lip kit color? And I love you. I haven't gotten to, around to trying all of them yet, because I just got some in the mail, and if you're not aware, if you don't follow me on social media, I'm actually going to be doing a full review, demo, swatch, lip swatch watch video giveaway and dupes it's gonna be a huge Kylie lip kit um, video I have been wearing candy K most often and I'm pretty sure I'd say it's my favorite so far so that is it for my ask Adiel video I really hope you guys enjoyed thank you so so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye everyone